All right, welcome back. We are on the road again, traveling a whole like two miles from where we are. So not driving very far. It's nice to have our customers uh, in our backyard. Uh, we've got a customer we're gonna go visit. We've got uh, Eugene on site currently uh, getting loaded. And this customer makes all sorts of machinery. And uh, one of the things that uh, they specialize in that's pretty cool that we've moved a bunch of times is the Builder Build-A-Bear stuffer units. So you know those bears that cost like $100 that you take your kids to go get in the mall? I know from experience, trust me, they're like 100 bucks. Uh, these guys build the stuffer units, the stuffer unit machinery that will, uh, they build it, they ship it to build the bear, I think the corporate, and then they distribute it around uh, to their, you know, locations. So yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool the stuff that we get involved in, you never know who you're dealing with, but yeah, let's go uh, check out a Build-A-Bear stuffer unit today. Okay, we are on the windy road turning into this location. I believe they load outside at this location, so we should be able to see Eugene uh, just as we're pulling up. Looks like that's their building right there in front of us. This blue building down the right hand side. So let's see what he's got loaded on. Oh, he's loading a full load of multiple pieces of machinery um let's see if he's on the back side here there he is they're starting to load him there nice little facility here like right they're loading learning pieces one by one oh no that's good pulling those straps out of his winches those trucks have those winch many trailers do they have the winches there where you can wrap your straps in there and then throw it over the pieces of machinery or I should say that whatever you're loading and it will, uh, you know, you get your ratchet binder and you, you ratchet those winches down and all act as a form of securement. He's going to go to the other side there and put the strap on. A lot of little crates. You got to be careful when we load crates like that. You see those bindings on those uh, crates and that one on the back that's got the uh, multiple boxes in there and it's wrapped with the plastic and the two bindings uh you gotta always be careful when you're securing that stuff many things can happen one the bindings can come loose and therefore then the boxes could be loose the plastic could come loose therefore the boxes could come loose if you were to throw straps over the top of that uh, and really crank down on it it could damage the material so, uh, you know, that specific uh, pallet there, those boxes, uh, you have to use a lot of caution when you're securing those. And uh, you got to be very careful. The last thing you ever want to do is damage a piece of equipment that is, you know, of our customers or uh, lose a piece of equipment going down the road. What really helps is this load has to be tarped. So when those uh, loads like that are tarped, it, uh, you know, obviously makes it safer as we uh, have the uh, pieces you know secured under the tarp and the wind's not blowing on them you know they're blowing on the tarps but it's not blowing on the plastic and the plastic really stays strong in there so it doesn't cause it to rip and uh you know we get a lot more protection when things are tarped one more look at them there we got that pallet jack up there. They're gonna move the pieces around. So they're loading with that little forklift. They don't have a dock here. So they're loading with that forklift. They're gonna put this stuff side by side. He's got a few pieces on there. And all this stuff's wrapped in plastic. And uh, he'll have to tarp it. So he's gonna put it on piece by piece, secure it, tarp it. And he will be on his way to the East Coast. There you have it. It's another Tuesdays with TU. Got to see uh, where we load the Build-A-Bear stuffer units out of. So now you, uh, you've learned something today. You can go tell your kids, you know where the Build-A-Bear stuffer units come from. I'd be like, what are you talking about? But um, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, I hope you guys continue to stay tuned. Me and Elijah are really enjoying doing this. I know you guys are watching it. Uh, we've got a few out there with um, tens and tens of thousands of views. So it's really cool. Uh, to only be in our, I think, fourth or fifth week of doing this and see that the, uh, you know, activities at that kind of a level, it just shows that, you know, there's interest in this. So 
we're going to continue them. We're going to keep taking you guys on the road, keep taking you guys around our shop, showing you guys what we do, and uh, hope you uh, follow along for the ride. See you soon.